All right, guys, so so many of you asked us how to hit a one-handed backhand on the rice instead of letting the ball uh, go back and try to roll the ball. So today we're going to focus on that part where we're going to step in and take the ball on the rice and drive the ball cross court or down the line. We'll give you three simple drills that you can do at any time and you can get your backhand better. Of course, you have to put effort in a few hours on the court. If you have that, of course, you're going to improve. Now, before we jump into the video, I really want you to take a second and go on the comment link below and write what would you ask the best pros in the world or coaches. If you had a chance to meet them, what would you ask them? It's very important because we will have a chance to actually face some of them and ask the questions that we want to know from them. So we want to know what exactly would you like to know about them or things that they could improve in your game or anything, absolutely anything. You can write just one to four questions in the comment link below. I'll wait here, so I'm not gonna go anywhere. Just take your time, get down in the link below, and let it happen. All right, guys, so uh, there are three important drills that we're gonna talk to today about. Before we do it, just a couple of uh, important things for you to know. What's the important thing in order to take the ball early? Why is it so hard sometimes? The fact that you have to move your feet really quick, you have to make sure you do the split step at the right time, the timing of the move is very important. So for example, when your opponent hits the ball, you want to make sure you do split step and get ready as quick as you can. That's the first step in order to get the ball in front of you and get there balanced. Now, also wide stance, very important. Number two, you got to be with the wide stance, making sure your feet are not close together. Otherwise, off the split step, you're going to be losing balance. You won't be able to execute it. Okay, so those two important things. And then, of course, early preparation. So after you got the wide stance, you got the split step, early preparation, get it ready, making sure you have a nice backswing, then you can execute it. So first drill we're going to do today uh, is going to help you out in the way that uh, just getting the rhythm, understanding how your body moves. So after you got all these basics right, you understand, you're already ready, you're focused. Uh, we're just going to fit the ball with your left hand a little bit away from you, so you'll have to actually force yourself to move forward because when you take the ball early, you're going to be moving forward. So we're going to stay sideways, take the ball and move forward and try to follow through. And again, make sure you're staying low. You got to be a little bit more compact and stay low when you take the ball earlier with one hand back in. And again, like that, you see your body weight is moving forward through the ball, but at the same time, you want to stay sideways. So the, some of the mistakes that we see a lot of times people do is, for example, I'll give you one, uh, they, their upper body moves forward too much. You might find yourself doing it. When they get the ball, all of a sudden, the upper body moves forward and they fall over, making the mistake of that kind. Uh, sometimes people get jammed, so as the ball comes, they get tense and their shoulders moving up. So it looks more like this and they miss the ball. So you want to have to stay relaxed, your shoulders stay in the same level, your head stays still. And as you turn early, you'll have extra time to execute that shot. All right, the second drill, Aris is going to come up on the other side. He's going to fit the ball considerably high, but not too high. Uh, considerably comfortable for me at the moment. So this is going to be more flatter balls that I can take earlier. I'm going to have to step in. He'll give me time to recover. And he was going to follow with the third drill where he's going to give more top spin, a little bit deeper shots where it's going to be a little bit more challenging for me. So let's see how it happens. And that's what we're going to do. So he's going to fit a high ball. You prepare very early, take the ball early. You see how I'm staying low, sideways, moving to the ball, split step. You see how I'm not coming up basically in most of the shots. I'm not going to use my legs yet. So making sure the ball hits the sweet spot. There you go. And again, there you can even take it in the air. There you go. Off the rise, very good. Just make sure you keep your head still. Don't look, don't look in front of you like you some people do. There you go. And again, there you go. Hey, take it on the rise if it's too loopy. Here we go, get in front of you. Basically, it's not hard. As far as you make it simple, as far as you make it simple, you don't do too many elements. You're just making sure you hit a sweet spot and the early preparation will help you out. All right. On this one, he's gonna get, he's gonna give me more top spin on it. The ball's gonna bounce up a little bit higher. Now you have to prepare a lot earlier. 
Make sure you give yourself enough time and you step in. Make sure you keep your head still, stay compact, okay? All right, let's go, guys. Let's see how it works. And if you mix the ball in the court, there you go. Nice. That's all right. Now, if you make a mistake like that into the net, so what do you have to do? You have to accelerate your racket a little bit more. There you go. Like that. That's it. And step in, like this one is short. There you go. Scare him a little bit. Okay. That's it. There you go. You see that one I missed because the ball didn't hit the sweet spot. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right, let's go five in a row. One. There you go. Two. Three. Four. And last one. Five. There you go. So see guys, a little bit, like on the last ball, it was a little higher. And I did adjustment steps, making sure I get the ball set up really well. And then I'm falling through. So body transfer is really, really important. As soon as I stop my feet moving, that's going to be a mistake. As soon as I get a little lazy, I get up, I'm going to make a mistake. I didn't take my racket back on time, I'm going to make a mistake. So it sounds like it's a hard way to play, but if you learn, you work on your full work, you work on preparation, getting your point of contact right, you guys are going to be golden. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Again, don't forget to comment a link below about the questions you would ask your pros, and we'll see you next time.